this is for a Michigan Tech computer engineering and electrical engineering senior design project. Uh, our project was to design input protection for, for the front end of an automotive data acquisition system. Um, we've actually managed to successfully do this and we can take in signals upwards of six kilovolts and not allow any dangerous energy or energy that would be destructive to a data acquisition through the board. Uh, we do this through a combination of gas discharge tube, TBS diode, and a transient locking unit. Um, after we have attenuated or any high energy transient, we pass it off to an instrumentation amplifier, which Ben here has uh, been a major role in Thanks. So in the instrumentation amplifier, we're able to do a lot of differential signaling, as well as the potential for upgrading it in uh, some massive gains. Right now it's configured in unity gains, so it's just straight pass through of the signal. So the uh, operational amplifiers we're using have a slew rate of 80 volts per microsecond, which far exceeds anything that we <laughs> that, that we would need for this project. This allows us to have a bandwidth of uh, upwards of 2 megahertz, which exceeds anything that you're going to see in the automotive sector. And the final board portion of our product is uh, it has a comparator which uh, illuminates an LED to let you know when you have a high transient response in the system uh, and our uh, protection is actually engaged. This allows for the operator to know when there is a problem and to actually stop what they're doing so there's no further harm to the, their system. So here you can see as the it, this is a normal operation. The bottom waveform is the input, the top waveform is the output from our circuit in the box here. And as we increase the DC shift, slowly but surely, <laughs> you see that it starts clipping it so that it's not above a dangerous, uh, dangerous level. The clip happens at 15 volts, and every time it clips, our LED flashes. And so even as you continue to increase this, uh, this is about 40 volts, or about 30 volts into it right now. And uh, at this point, it, it is still well and truly protected. Uh, even though there's only a, the tiniest of blips coming out of it. You want to see the... Uh... Yeah. So the other thing that we, that we did is, it was originally designed so that this could withstand a spark plug firing into it. Uh, so this here is a ignition coil that would commonly drive a spark plug in a car. And... So we can actually fire this into our circuit just fine. So that coil outputs 6,000 volts peak to peak. And as you can see here, we're barely exceeding uh, 13 volts. So it stays well within a 15 volt rail and a, a event that would have otherwise been catastrophic and cost thousands of dollars to fix, not to mention the time it would set back a project, is now minimized to nothing.